Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try this sums page number 161, question number 1. Convert the following to percentage. So here they have given us fractions and decimal forms of the numbers and that we have to convert into percentage. Whenever the fractions are there, we are converting into percentage. We have to multiply with 100. And whenever percentage is there and we are converting into fraction, at that time we have to divide with 100. If in case decimal numbers are there, then decimal numbers first we have to convert it to fraction and then we have to multiply with 100 to convert it into a fraction. So one step will be more when the decimal numbers are there. But the remaining thing will be same. So here let us start with a 12 by 16. So this is in fraction form when we are converting into percentage we have to multiply with 100. So 12 divided by 16 in multiplication with 100. Now we have to simplify this and we have to convert this into lowest form. So 3 into 4 in multiplication with 25 into 4. Hundreds simplest form is 25 into 4. Now in division 16 is there. So I am going to write 4 into 4. So this two 4s will get cancel it off in denominator and numerator. So 3 into 25. 3 into 25 is 75. So 75 percent will be the answer for this first numerical. Now B is 3.5. It is in the decimal form. So first we are converting into fraction form. So 35 divided by after decimal point one number is there. So in division 10 will come. So 35 divided by 10. Now to convert this into percentage we are multiplying with 100. Now let us convert this into simplest form. Before that let us cancel it out 1 0. So here in denominator nothing is left. So we will get here. 350 percentage for second numerical. C. 49 divided by 50. To convert this into percentage, we have to multiply with 100. Now let us simplify this. 49 into 100 divided by 50. So 50 to 100. So 49 into 2. We will get here 98 percentage. D. 2 by 2. The same numbers are there in numerator and denominator. So it will give us 1. Now 1 we have to multiply with 100 to convert it into percentage. So it will give us 100%. Then E is in decimal form. Let us convert this into fraction form. So 5 divided by after decimal point 2 numbers are there. So in denominator 100 will come. Now we have to multiply with 100 to, to convert this into percentage. So this 100 and this 100 will get cancel it off. We got here 5% as an answer. Try this sums page number 161 question number 2. First question is out of 32 students, 8 are absent. What percent of students are absent? So total quantity here, total students strength is 32 student and out of absentees or absent students are 8. So how to convert this first into a fraction? So first whatever quantities are there, we are writing them into a fraction. And that fraction we are converting into percentage. When fraction we are converting into percentage, we are multiplying with 100. So desired quantity, how to write a fraction. So for fraction, this you have to remember that whatever quantities, desired quantities are there, that divided by total quantities. So here we are going to find out the percentage for absent student. So absent students are 8 out of total student and that is 32. So 8 by 32. Now this is our fraction. We are converting this into percentage. So we are going to multiply with 100. Let us simplify this further that 4 into 2 in multiplication with 25 into 4 in division 8 into in division 8 into 4. 
So 8 and 4 into 2, we can cancel it off and 4 and 4, we can cancel it off. So here we got 25% as an answer. Our second question, there are 25 radios, 16 of them are out of order. What percent of radios are out of order? So total radios are 25 and out of order are 16. So how to convert them into fraction? So fraction is equals to 16 is desired quantity that out of order radios are 16 and divided by total quantities. So that is 25. So this is our fraction for this numerical. Now we are converting this into percentage. To convert them into percentage, we are multiplying with 100. Now let us simplify this further. So 16 into 25 into 4 divided by 25. So this 25 and 25 we can cancel it off. We got here 16 into 4 is 64 percent. Question number 3. A shop has 500 items out of which 5 are defective. What percent are defective? So total items are 500 and defective items are 5. So how can we represent this into a fraction? So divide, fraction is desired quantity divided by total quantity. So desired quantity is 5. So this many items are defective divided by total quantity. So divided by 500. Now to convert this into a percentage, we have to multiply this with 100. So 5 divided by 500 in multiplication with 100. So let us simplify this 5 into 100 divided by 500. So 500 divided by 500 we got here 1. 5 and 100 will get cancel it off with 500. So we got here 1. So percentage will be 1%. So answer is 1%. So 1% item is defective in the store. Fourth numerical, there are 120 voters, 90 of them voted yes. What percent voted yes? So total quantity or total voters are 120 and the people who have said yes or voted yes are 90 out of 120. So our fraction will be 90 divided by 120. Now to convert this into percentage, we have to multiply this fraction to 100. So let us simplify this further with, we can cancel it off 1 0 here. So 3 into 30 in multiplication with 10 and here 3 into 4. So 3 and 3 we can cancel it off. 2 2 is a 4 and 2 5 is a 10. Again 2 15 is a 30. So we got here 15 into 5. So 75% voted yes. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.